guys, Paul from CP Addict here out with Devin Gross and his uh, Johnny Cash Power Stroke here. Uh, he come up for our monthly cars and coffee meet here, even amongst the storm that's supposed to be coming in and the nasty weather. Drove, what, three hours roughly? About two and a half, three hours. Two and a half, three hours. So they got up super early this morning and came out, which we appreciate you mm -hmm. spending the effort. Um, so we kind of wanted to talk about your truck because you've told us before different things about it, like, you know, it was a two-wheel drive and it was an extended cab and you've kind of gone to great lengths to make mm -hmm. it your truck so kind of kind of tell us about your truck all right so it uh when i got it in 2011 it was my first truck it was a 97 extended cab two-wheel drive base model power stroke truck an old halliburton fleet truck and i drove it bone stock through high school and then my senior year we did a four-wheel drive conversion on it with a kingpin dana 60 and uh it had a five speed out of an 89 in it until i broke the tail shaft off of it driving like a high schooler <laughs> and i got a zf6 on craigslist for 600 bucks so we swapped that in it and I drove it like that for a while, put a 160-100 injectors in it, an S366, uh, an e-fuel system for my rate, and uh, I ended up blowing the motor up in it, so it sat for a while. And over time, I had another truck to daily drive, so it sat. And I finally got around to piecing it back together. I really wanted a four-door, so I got a, I found a 94 IDI turbo truck with a good frame and cab. Took everything apart and made one you know, hodgepodge is. truck, you know, it's Johnny Cash special one piece at a time. Well, you've you've been coming up and we've been at different meets and stuff over the years and mm -hmm. you kinda told us about it. And this is this is pretty much your daily driver yeah. quote unquote truck. Yeah. I mean you you've built it to do what you want it to do. Yeah. And you've had other trucks but yet you still you still stick with this one I, and I can't get rid of it. And and people compliment on it all the time. I know when you pull up here people compliment on it. I'm, I'm jealous of it because it's a four-door, four-wheel drive dually. Mm -hmm. I like that you have it going all crazy and it's got, you know, a 12-inch lift on it. I know I know Colt's got a huge lift on his truck yeah. and I like it, but I also like the simplicity of, you know, this truck. Jealous of your rear bumper. I've been trying for years to get one of those. I know that you, like, had to, like, fight at a junkyard or something for, for that bumper. And yeah, I, I missed out on one a few years ago at a junkyard that was made for it. I looked for seven years to find one. I finally found one for a 90 Chevy Dually on Craigslist for 200 bucks, so I bought it and made it work. You know, it's not pretty, but it hasn't fallen off yet. I backed into <laughs> lots of stuff. Well, I know I saw a picture a couple of weeks ago. You said, you know, you basically daily drove this thing. Mm -hmm. Of you in Oklahoma with a Peterbilt on a gooseneck hauling yeah. it back to Texas. That was what, a, a 352 Peterbilt? Or yeah, a 352. What year model was that? 1980. So did you have, did you ever run across the scales to see how much you weighed or do you know about where you were at on it? I know the truck and trailer empty is about 15.5. With all the chains and crap we had in it, it was probably closer to 16,000 with all the spare tires, jacks. Just in case. And then the tag on the Peterbilt said 15,000 pounds, but I'm pretty sure it was a little heavier than that. <laughs> so did you have any reservations of taking this truck and going and getting that? Or did you just like drop the gooseneck on the ball and say, let's go, yeah. You know, if it breaks, right. it breaks. Well, that's that's the way most people are with these trucks. But you probably carried enough tools and whatnot in case you needed to fix mm -hmm. it. It was, and you have the knowledge because you yeah. pieced this truck together and made it yours. Yeah. At the beginning of the trip, I actually flew the clutch line out on it, so we had to replace that in the parking lot. And then we lost a hub on the trailer on I-40 in Oklahoma at 10 o'clock on Sunday, so that was fun. But, but the truck know. itself but made yeah. it un unscathed. It probably hassled a little bit. Yeah. But the, the springs are a little. And shocks probably need replaced because of the, the Oklahoma turnpike. Yeah. But other than that, it did good. It is Oklahoma. Yeah. But, uh, man, I mean, as always, we appreciate you coming out. You know, somebody that appreciates these trucks like we do ourselves and like most of our viewers do, it's cool to still see them on the road, still see them working, still see the passion for them. Mm -hmm. So, again, we appreciate you bringing it out. We'll get Seth here to do a little around the around the truck video and kind of show people what it's got going on for it and everything okay. so we really appreciate you coming no out problem. man thanks, thanks for having me perfect perfect